All right, guys. Here we have a do-it-yourself smoke machine. Fog machine, EVAP smoke tester. You, there's countless things that you could test with this tool. Now, mine is primitive. I do not have the means or professional skills to fab up something complete, so there's electrical tape for and quarter turn valves. It works. It's primitive, but it works. Okay. We have our air supply. Hook this up to shop air. I don't. <clears throat> I this can expands. All these new cans are cheap. These cans expand. And what happens is once they start expanding, the cap doesn't make a good seal and it starts blowing smoke out of everywhere. You want to go light anyway. I mean, you don't, if you're testing EVAP, you don't want to go more than two pounds. Um, I test my air intake with this. I went about five pounds. It's not bad. It works very, very well. So we have some fittings. None of these are really that airtight. They're tight, but they're not really airtight. Now in here, that's basically like a dirty sock and mineral oil. There's canthol. I'm an avid vapor. I build my own coils. So I made a coil. Runs off for 12 volts. See the alligator clips that hold the coil? There's alligator clips in there. I don't want to get the phone wet. The camera wet. Alright. So you're going to want to insulate the wires, obviously, going through the... Sorry, guys, I can't get you a good picture here. Insulate the wires going through the can. I have them 12 volt. Let's try this. There you go. I have hooked up to 12 volts. I have that many X amount of canthol, all right? And I don't know if a cup of mineral oil, baby oil works good. And you got your pressure supply. And you got your cap. Tap that on there. Here's our hose. Produces a very thick cloud of smoke. Mineral oil will not harm anything in the car. It's what they use in the professional machines. It's what I use. Hasn't steered me wrong yet. You could test anything with this. Anything with pressure. All right, guys. Good luck.